Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Today's flavor is S'mores Cabin by Caribou. I got it at Ollie's. So I haven't tried that one before. So every morning is a different coffee adventure. Because <laughs> why not? Life has so many things, so many things to enjoy that you might as well just try a lot of different things. Sometimes we get into a rut where we do same old, same old, and we miss out on a lot of things. We miss out on different foods, different flavors. It doesn't hurt to try, as long as it's not injurious to life and limb. Why not give new things a try? I like new things. Sometimes I like change. Um, if it's changed for the good. But even that, you have to try different things. You know, if something's not working, then change it up. Try something different. Um, you know, it, it can't hurt as long as you're being a good person and not being dangerous about it. And, you know, um, change it up. So anyway, today's high temperature is going to be 81. Should be a nice day. There's no rain in the forecast that I know of, but we've had uh, light rains the last oh, couple days. It didn't rain yesterday, so I'll have to go out and water, but um, yeah, the weather's been pretty pleasant the last few days. We have one day this week where it's supposed to be 87. I think that's tomorrow, so it'll be a little bit warmer then. But, uh, you know, we'll see. See how it works out. I try and pick and choose what I do. You know, on really hot days, I sit around a lot, having iced coffee, hanging out with my neighbor. We like to sit on our patio and put up our little beach umbrellas and have a little party out there. So, yesterday we finally got... Um, together in the evening and had um, a couple of adult beverages. We had some wine, so that was nice. We went to Costco. We pretty much hung out the whole day, so <clears throat> that's nice, especially if your bestie lives right next door. So let's give this coffee a try. I don't know, not everybody might agree with me with the changing things up, but um, I'm always trying to problem solve. If something's not working for me, I try and, you know, well, that didn't work, so let's go to plan B or plan C, whatever you've got going on, and then eventually you find something that makes you happy and that, that works. At least that's what I find to be true. So, cheers. Hopefully this is good. If not, we'll drink it anyway. Waste not, want not. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. And since it's s'mores, I put coffee, uh, chocolate creamer in it. I know, I know, it's not good for me. But it's one of the things that isn't good for me that I do use, and that's flavored creamer. I don't know, I suppose I could make some, and I'm gonna try that one of these days, because it gets to be expensive too, if you're always buying creamer. So I'm not opposed to changing that. Um, but right now I have several bottles in my reserve stash, <clears throat> and I'm definitely not going to throw that away. So I'll give that, um, I'll use that up, and then maybe I'll, I'll try some homemade ones. I've, I've gotten a couple of good recipes. One of my lovely viewers sent me one that sounded really good. So it can't hurt to give that a try. It would probably be cheaper, too. So I don't know what I'm doing today. I do have to get out in the garden. I think I have a zucchini that's out there that's ready to be. Picked. And since I didn't do anything in the garden for a couple days, I'm sure it needs a little attention. Um, 
Yeah, so like I said, next year, speaking of changing things up, I'm still finding, even though I downsized my garden, um, I'm still finding my garden to be a challenge to keep up. So next year, uh, like I said, I want to use those city picker boxes they, the way they were meant to be used, uh, which is with a cover. And that'll keep all the weeds out because as soon as I get my spring planting done, the cottonwood goes crazy and I get tons and tons of cottonwood trees and uh, also some, some of those other plants that uh, are considered weeds. One of them, I think it's called a, is it a fuzzy soldier or something like that. I get tons of those, but I found out those are actually medicinal plants. But, you know, they're good for, what did it say? It said colds and flus and uh, skin problems. It had a real long list of things that it was, uh, had a medicinal purpose for. So a lot of weeds, what we consider to be weeds, are actually medicinal plants that some people go out and forage and they make their poultice and their uh, concoctions and all that out of. So I like to study about different plants and some of their properties. I know last year, oh there she goes again, oh there they go. All right, well, I'm going to meet you over at the budget book, but last year I gathered a purple stinging nettle that made actually a decent tea. All right, well, they're going to keep it up. I don't know what they see, but I will meet you over there at the budget book. Okay, back at the budget book. Well, yesterday I did spend money. I went to Costco with my neighbor and got a couple things. So not too bad. But, yep, this week I pretty much spent money every day. So I think next week I need to go on a bit of a money diet. That's what I'm thinking. I can't think of a whole lot of stuff that I still need. Um, now I just need to fix everything up and put things away and make things neat. So that's my plan for next week, but I will have to go to the store with my mom. And I think Monday it's going to be 87, so maybe I'll go then. Um... We'll see. Like I said, I, I do, you know, each day as it comes. Sometimes each hour as it comes. I like to live in the moment. I like to plan ahead, too. I mean, general plans. But I like to live in the moment, too, and, and just do what I feel like doing. I still get things done, but I don't have to work, this way I don't have to work on a lot of things that I don't feel like doing right at the moment. And eventually everything does get done. So not much more to say about the budget book today other than I need to rein it in. And um, that's that for the budget book chat. Okay, time to make a meal using what I already have. So I have pasta and eggs. The eggs are from my daughter's chickens. And hopefully I don't break them. And hang on. Oh, sorry about the bad view. <laughs> All right. And then here I have a little bit of Parmesan cheese that I want to use up. I still have another one here. Three cheese blend. I don't know where I got that, but anyway. 
Then I got these from Costco, so I'm going to save those for something else when I got the pizza yesterday. So, all right. Let's go make a meal. All right, well, I am hungry, and I'm going to make a brunch. So there's all the ingredients that I had. And I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese, eggs, and some garlic powder to the dish. So in here I'm melting some butter. And I like this for a brunch or a dinner, whatever you like. All right, so I got a bowl here. I'm gonna crack the eggs into the bowl and mix those up. Always save your eggshells for your garden if you have one, or if you have indoor plants, you can use them for that too. Adds a lot of calcium and other nutritious things for plants. So I'm gonna put the Parmesan cheese in with the eggs. And this is all to taste. That should be good. Same with the garlic. You don't have to add garlic, but I like garlic, so, and it's healthy. And then I'm going to add some pepper. And some salt. Now this pasta I cooked ahead and it's already salted so <clears throat> so I'm just going to beat up the eggs and I'm going to cook them up for a little bit and then I'm going to add my pasta. Easy peasy meal got a small cucumber from the garden this morning and a handful of cherry tomatoes. I'll probably have those with my meal too. And if you have a garden, I'm sure those are things that you grow too. So okay, that should be good. Now you could just add the Parmesan cheese afterwards if you want, but I'm just going to add it to the eggs. You can just cook the eggs in butter and then add your pasta. And one of my favorite pastas is um, elbow macaroni because you can use it for so many things. And I just like cooking with uh, elbow macaroni. I think it's more versatile than spaghetti noodles and all that. So I'm not going to cook these eggs all the way through before I add the pasta. And I'm cooking this on medium heat. So these are still very soft, and I'm going to add the pasta because I want the eggs to stick to the pasta. And if you cook the eggs too long, it, it, it's not going to stick to the pasta. But it's your meal, so you cook it whatever way you want. I'm just giving you some ideas of what you can make for a meal. I'm trying to cook down my freezer and my pantry a little bit, even though I am stocking back up on pasta. Because, like I said, the mice got into the pasta and everything went in the garbage. So you can cook this as much as you want or as little as you want. I like it a little bit soft, so that's how I like it. So I'm going to dish this up, and 
and I'll be back. Okay, well, here's my meal. That looks really good and refreshing to me. I'm going to add a little bit of this Gerard's. It's one of my favorite dressing. It's champagne dressing. And I'm going to just drizzle a little bit over the cucumbers and the tomatoes. Now these are the pickled homemade carrots that I made and peppers. They are so good. If you have a lot of baby carrots that you don't know what to do with, or even regular carrots, cut them up and make a pickle brine and have yourself some pickled carrots. They're really, really good. So there's my meal for today, using what I have, using what I got from the garden. The carrots, I had too many, so I figured they would last longer if I pickled them. And uh, they, I pickled them about a week, week and a half ago, and they are delicious. And this cucumber is so fresh. When I cut it open, the aroma from the cucumber was just so pleasant. And the tomatoes are from the garden, too. So I'm going to go enjoy this meal. Well, okay. I need to get this kitchen cleaned up. So this is stuff I bought at Ollie's and um, Aldi's the other day that needs to be put away. Uh, this needs to go in containers. And that needs to go into my stash down the basement. Now, I've been working on this, and a lot of this stuff just got cleaned and put here on the washer and dryer. I have to clean this up. I sanitized all these baskets. They were in the pantry, but I'm going to have to store those somewhere else. So I'm trying to figure out where to store certain things. Um... And I always kept my cleaning stuff on top of here, which means this is a glass thing. I can't use the sink. I'd like to use this area to fold my clothes. So I need to do something with my cleaning stuff. So I took everything off of there, and now it's in the kitchen, and I have to figure out where to keep my cleaning stuff. So I have this cupboard down here, but this is full of laundry things and bits and bobs. So that's fine. It's organized. I know it's a lot of stuff, but it's things I use. So I cannot put my cleaning stuff in there. And I have a lot of cleaning stuff. So I think for now I'm going to find the right size box. And then I'm going to... Um, Keep it right outside my garage door. So it, it'll be easy to get to, but it won't be right here. So I still need to clean these containers. I just bought these uh, when I took my other containers back to Dollar Tree. I picked these up, and there's four, two smaller and two bigger. So I have to do that, but this is all the cleaning stuff that I have to find a home for. So I'm going to do that today and get that all put away and get my table cleaned off. So, yeah, the kitchen is a work in progress. So this, th these are the open shelves that I put up here. Um, now, I have the island that's going to replace these two things here. haven't put it together yet. I'm going to enlist grandson, one of them, to help me. But these are all things that I use, spices, oils, vinegars, and, and then some decor. So that's perfectly fine. I like the open shelving. Some people might say, oh, you got so much stuff on there. Well, you know, so what? <laughs> It's things I use, and I, I like the decor. It's, you know, it's just what I like. So anyway, uh, I'm going to work on that a little bit today and hopefully come up with an idea to get things a little more organized and easy to use. Okay, well, I found this nice tall box, 
and I put a whole bunch of my spray cleaning bottles in there and that's going to go in the garage where it's handy and then I need to strain this these are orange peels and vinegar that's been in there for over a year and uh, oh is it strong so I'm going to make cleaner out of that too put it in one of the spray bottles so that's done. Um, this I'm still going to use today to do a little bit of cleaning of the counters. And I bought this glass cleaner because I have to clean back here and it doesn't run down as quick as the uh, liquid Windex. So it does a better job on my stove. So I got that going on. And then here I have this basket and I just have a few things so it, it will be no big deal when I'm folding laundry just to move this. Um, so I'm happy with the way that looks. It doesn't look so messy. And I still have to fill up my hummingbird feeder. And I, I have one out already but I'm debating if I want to hang two or not. I might just put that one in the garage. But I still have this to clean up. So I have to figure out where I want to put these baskets. Because I do use these um, when I have company for crackers and biscuits and whatever. So I want to probably put those in plastic bags or somewhere. Maybe in a bin to keep them clean and then uh, yeah this is the stuff I bought this at Costco yesterday and I really like having these on hand off the Eaton Path chickpea veggie crisps with rice, chickpeas, peas, and black beans and purple sweet potatoes they're plant-based and they have 130 calories for 15 chips. So not super low calorie, but they are tasty. So I'm going to put those in one of the plastic containers and that will go into my pantry. So, uh, so far I haven't noticed any more rodents, so that's good. And this will take me a half an hour to figure out what I'm going to do with. I don't know if I'm going to get all that done today, but there's no big rush. So, a little progress inside. So, here we are. Uh, I'm taking a break. I've been working in the garden all morning, weeding and cutting things back that are done blooming. And so, and it's already one o'clock, so I've I'm done with the garden and I think I'm pretty much done with, I still have to put this stuff away, but um, I think I'm pretty much done for the day. But I'm just taking a little coffee break. Cheers! And sometimes I like to have a cold drink. I like this uh, aloe vera juice beverage. It has vitamins A, C, and E, and zinc. For immunity support. I got this at Dollar Tree. I'm sure you can get it cheaper somewhere else. But um, it has 80% of all those ingredients. Um, and I like it. It tastes good. Plus, it's good for your digestion. Um, aloe vera is good for your stomach. So, I want to see if I can find like a six pack or something of this somewhere. Uh, but it's it's refreshing and it only has 10 calories. So yeah, I like this stuff. It comes in different flavors. I got mango and pineapple. And it has little pieces of aloe vera in it. So it's got little, kind of like little chewy pieces in there. And it's 30% juice. So. There we go. But I like that. 
Um, yeah, so I, I think I'm going to wind things down for the day. Just do a few more things, you know, easy, easy stuff. And uh, relax a little bit. So it's getting warm outside. I went out in the garden early today and I pulled so many of those fuzzy soldiers or whatever, hairy soldiers or whatever you call them. And um, I got a little bit of produce. I got a zucchini and um, a cucumber and some cherry tomatoes. And oh, those cherry tomatoes are so sweet. I mean, they're like candy, they're so sweet. So those were good. Uh, I really enjoyed those uh, on a plate with a little bit of the uh, Gerard's dressing. That was really tasty. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to put this stuff away. I still have to wash those plastic containers. And, yeah, I know that's, that doesn't make things mouse-proof, but they're a little less likely to stick around if they don't have easy access to food. So, um, and I think those uh, packets of uh, mouse deterrent, I think those work because they're really strong. So I'm strategically placing those in certain areas in the garage where I saw them when I was cleaning up the garage and in the pantry and I'll also use them downstairs in the pantry. And I'm going to try and make some homemade ones because I have a lot of mint out in the garden that I'm going to dry. And like I said before, I noticed that in the pantry, wherever I had stuff in a drawer uh, and I had uh, dried mint that I had actually gathered for tea, I would had nothing to do with the mice when I gathered it, um, they didn't they didn't go in there they stayed away from it so I put two of those pouches in the pantry and every time I open the door it's like whoa <laughs> but it's not an unpleasant smell it's just a very strong smell so um, I think that'll work and then I'll use the um, the mint I'll put uh, mint uh, essential oils and some of the cleaner. Maybe I'll add some to that orange um, concoction that I made. Uh, I have a lot of essential oils, so uh, maybe I'll put some of that in there. And this is war. And I will not be defeated. I will never give up. I will never give in. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. And that's basically all I have for you today, my friends. So I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what's going on in your life. I love to read your comments. Um, I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. It helps my channel grow. Don't forget to share. And thanks for watching.